Let's now talk about setting the missed approach altitude. The setting of the missed approach altitude will happen inside the final approach fix when the aircraft is at least 300 feet below the missed approach altitude. Now, you heard that right, 300 feet below the missed approach altitude. We're going to overlay the maneuver section of the QRH right here on the screen so you can see where this is illustrated within the manual. And once more, let's make sense of the setting of the missed approach altitude 300 feet below the missed approach altitude. See, let's say your missed approach altitude happens to be 4,000 feet, which happens to be the case here in Kennedy, runway 4 right. 4,000 foot missed approach altitude, 300 feet below that, 3,700 feet. And you also notice the illustration shows inside the final approach fix. So once we're inside this final approach fix, on a descending path, we happen to be 300 feet, at least 300 feet below the missed approach altitude. This happens to be the case. Now is when you're going to set the missed approach altitude. And of course, remember you had 600 set in the MCP. The next thing we're going to do is smoothly roll this MCP altitude up to 4,000 feet. We're going to review the differences as it relates to the 737 Classic model aircraft, as opposed to the 737NG, particularly with the resetting of the missed approach altitude. Where exactly do we set it? Now you're going to notice there's a slight change, a slight variance, if you will, in the maneuver section here superimposed on the screen as before we saw 300 feet below missed approach altitude for the NG is where we were setting missed. But now take a look closely and it says 300 feet above MDA is where we're going to set the missed approach altitude. Let's make sense of that and let's remember back that of course MDA stands for your Minimum descent altitude also stands for must do arithmetic as we add our 50 feet to this. And we'll say it's 600 or so feet, which happens to be the case for most non-precision approaches. 600 plus 300, add your 300 feet above this. And we're going to find that the aircraft happens to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 900 feet. Now at 900 feet, it would be the appropriate moment. This is 300 feet above MDA. In this particular example, 900 happened to be the number. We'll set the missed approach altitude. And one thing you need to be aware of when you do this is that remember this triple column FMA, you happen to have your VNAV path engaged. We'll keep in mind that now when we set the missed approach altitude only in the classic variant of the 737 in this model, VNAV path will indeed be disengaged and you will end up with control wheel steering pitch. That's right, CWSP. So for the last 300 feet or so of this approach, you will be flying in CWSP. Completely acceptable. There is a mention of this in your flight crew training manual where it actually allows us to do this. You just need to be mindful of this and understand that control wheel steering, a reversion into CWSP, does not warrant a go around simply because the system logic is reacting exactly as designed. So remember, in the 737 Classic, the setting of the missed approach altitude will be 300 feet above MDA. As a result of setting 300 feet above MDA, in the 737 Classic variant here, talking 400, your FMA will revert into control wheel steering pitch. You will fly the last 300 feet of this approach segment in control wheel steering pitch. Perfectly acceptable, does not warrant to go around. It's the logic functioning as designed, but you do need to be aware of it. Three, two, one.